Hi guys, it's Rachel and I'm here with a very belated week 22 update from having RNY gastric bypass in London on the 13th of January. I was just walking across London Bridge, which is what I'm on now. Um, heading home from a day doing bits and pieces and I was just looking across the water and I'm looking at the view now and it's incredibly beautiful the sun setting and I thought I'm so late doing a video let me do one here while I'm on London Bridge for you um, it's just gonna be really really quick because uh, I don't have much battery left but I started um, the week at 114.8 kilos or 252.5 pounds let me get Tower Bridge which is here um, back in the shop for you. Um, or 18 stone roughly thereabouts something like that uh, and at the end of the week I was 113.9 kilos 200 and I think I just got all the numbers wrong the correct ones are running across here so uh, let me just recap so this week I weighed in at 113.9 kilos or 250.5 pounds which is 17.9 stone which made a loss for the week for me of 0 0.9 kilos so just under a kilo or two pounds exactly and yeah quite happy with that because I lost weight in spite of myself I had a really shit week um, excuse all the traffic noise hope you can hear me oh low battery warning um, really shit week I think getting my BMI under 40 was a trigger for some sabotaging behavior for me um, I think it just scared me about failing and the unknown I'm heading into unknown territory now with my weight I don't know myself um, below the size I am now so uh, there's that and then there's also the fear of what if you lose all of this weight and you still don't get to where you want to go so you still don't have kids uh, is trying and failing worse than not trying and I think that that's why I've always failed in the past because I decided that it was easier to fail by not starting than to try really hard and then fail and I know that doesn't make a lot of sense um, but things don't right normally until we figure shit out and then we change so um, that was kind of what I was dealing with during my week 22 lots of um, psychological turmoil and crying and consuming family blocks of chocolate there were two which is not good it's not cool um, eating bread and and stuff like that so the fact that I lost weight this week is a miracle to be quite honest um, uh, yeah wasn't good I'm on track now I'll give you my update for week 23 soon which is already finished um, but yeah just really quick so it's not all um, What's the word? Flowers and unicorns? No, roses and whatever, you know what I mean? It's not all um, positive things all the time. And even when you think you've got shit figured out, another week will come, there'll be another trigger, there'll be another thing, another hurdle, and you'll feel like you're going backwards. And that's how I felt in this week that I'm talking about. And you get back on track, you get back up on the horse, and you start to improve. And I've got 35 years of. Um, bad behavior to correct so I can't expect to get it all right all the time um, yeah I think I'm gonna end this here now because there's lots of people walking past the bridge <laughs> pulling faces at me um, and that's fine I think I'm over that kind of embarrassment now but my more importantly my battery's going flat and I've got a 30 minute train ride and I need some music so Lots of love. I hope you're all doing very well. I will catch you soon with some update, more update videos that I need to post for you. Alright, bye.